Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of dynamic forms series. So in this one, we are going to see how to migrate or how to set up dynamic forms for different kind of objects, such as uh, standard object and custom objects. And we'll also see if we can uh, migrate the highlight panel or the related list section. Okay, so let's just have a look at the agenda for this session. So we'll see how to convert a custom object record page to a dynamic form. And then we'll check how to convert a standard object record page to a dynamic form and then we'll check out how to convert a highlight panel to a dynamic form and at last we'll also see how a related list can be converted to a dynamic form or how to create a dynamic related related list right right so um let's just go ahead and i'll move to my org and i'll uh we can like you know start with this one to convert a custom object record page to a dynamic form So this is my org and I will actually move to a custom object first. So as in the previous session, we already saw how to uh, actually migrate a record, lightning record page to a dynamic form. But uh, for those who have not watched the previous session, I'm going to show it again. It's just a small like, you know, a point and click along with a lot of limitations, which I think uh, are not a way like, you know, corner case limitations, but you should be knowing about those things before you actually migrate your record page to a dynamic form. Okay. So let me go to a custom objects record page. So I have a custom object called employee. So I'm going to this one first and I'll move to the record page. So this is my record and I'm going to go to the edit page. So this is my employees uh, record detail page. And if you want to convert your record page to a dynamic form, all you have to do is uh, click here and then you will get an option on the right panel saying that you can like, you know, upgrade this record page to a dynamic form. So I'll just, I'm just going to click it here. And here it is. You can configure record detail sections and field right inside the lightning app builder. Upgrade to dynamic forms and start putting individual fields and sections anywhere on the page. Okay. So I'm just going to click on this upgrade now. And then it will ask me which page layout I would be using. I, as I have only one page layout, so it is showing me only one page layout over here. If let's say on employees object, if I had a uh, different, like, you know, uh, page layouts, then it will show me all the options that I have for the page layouts and you can select like, you know, whatever you want. And then you can click on finish. All right, so this is now converted into the dynamic form. So this was a custom object and we just saw how you can actually like, you know, upgrade a uh, uh, custom objects record page to a dynamic form. Pretty simple, right? So the next one is, let's just check how to convert a standard object record page to a dynamic form. So we already checked about converting an account record page to a dynamic form and we cannot uh, like, you know, convert it back to a record page. So I'll go ahead and try to convert a contact record page to a dynamic form. So go to contact. So contact as contact is a standard object. And I had already mentioned that like, you know, before uh, the previous release, uh, there was no way that you, that like, you know, you would have been able to convert a standard object detail uh, record page into a dynamic form. But in the previous winter release, uh, these things have been added that you can now actually migrate your account contact and opportunities record page to a dynamic form. So this is my contact and I'll just go ahead and click on edit page. I'll go to details and I'm just gonna click here and here it is. Okay. So we are, so this is a standard object, but we are getting the option to upgrade, right? So we can just click on this and we can upgrade and I will choose this layout or, or I think this is the one I'm using. So, and that's it. So again, you have to keep in mind that uh, this upgradation is not available in all the standard objects, okay? Only for few ones now. So all right, we can save this. So we saw how we can 
upgrade a custom objects lightning record page to a dynamic form and then how we can upgrade a cust uh, standard objects record page into a dynamic form the approach is totally similar you will get a uh, upgrade now button link over here on the right side of your page and you can just simply click on it to upgrade it okay now let's just see how you can actually convert a highlight panel to dynamic form okay so we'll uh, start because i'm already on the standard object so we'll see how you can convert a highlight panel of a standard object into a dynamic form and then we'll go ahead and check out the same thing on the custom object so this is my contact record page and this is the highlight panel right so if i click here i should be getting the upgrade option so here it is right upgrade to dynamic actions and i can actually upgrade this to and what are the benefits of actually upgrading a highlight panel to a dynamic form you can apply different filters on these quick actions right so that is another thing that you can i mean you can have multiple buttons and you might be using the same highlight panel for different uh profiles right but you can like you know add the profile check or if there's any other kind of check that that also you can put on these action buttons right if you actually upgrade this highlight panel to a dynamic form so let me just do it upgrade now and i want to migrate i don't want to create from scratch okay this one and that's it okay this is how you can actually upgrade a highlight panel of a standard object record page to a dynamic form now let's just go ahead and see if the same option is i'm not saving this uh, i mean you can if you want to upgrade it you can just say because i'm not saving it because i will not be able to go back to the record page i would have to create a new one so i'm not doing that so um let's just go ahead and check if we can upgrade the highlight panel of a custom object lighting record page so again i'll go to employee record let's go to edit page this is the highlight panel And no, I am okay. Yes, I am getting that option. So you can like, you know, you can upgrade. So basically, you can upgrade the detail page to a dynamic form of a custom object, you can also upgrade the highlight panel of a custom object to a dynamic form. Okay. And you can do all these both the things for standard objects, like account contact and opportunities as well, but for not all the standard objects but for account contact and opportunities for sure okay now the other thing is that will you be able to uh, upgrade a related list so let's just go and check out so this is my related list okay i have added or uh, let me let me remove this first so that i can show you so this is a custom object so i will first add a related section here okay so let me just put a tab and here under the related i will just related list i'm just going to drag it here okay so so because if you see in related list we have different kind of options available okay uh related list single related list so this this particular component related list this one brings all the related list component that you have available in your layout for example if i go to the um uh, object configuration i'll show you how how these different option works so here let me go to employee object And I'll go to page layouts here and related list. So here, let's say I, I will add few more. So groups, files, mm, approval history or anything. That's okay. So now how many I have added? One, two, three, four, four related list I added, right? And let me save this. So here in my record page, if I use this, right, related list, if I drag and drop this over here, let me, I would have to refresh this page actually. So let me remove this and see all the four came, right? So when you're using related lists, okay, that means it is going to bring all the related lists that you have added on your layout, okay, everything. But rather, if I use single related list, it will ask you that which one do you want to keep? Okay. So for example, let me just <clears throat> put this one related list. 
So this is approval history. Here I can choose that like, you know, for which object I want to keep this related list for. This will not be compacted between the among the other objects, but this one is a total compact. See all the four uh, four related lists because we used this particular component. But if you are using related list single, then this is how it is going to be. Now we have to check whether we can actually upgrade it to a dynamic form. Uh, whether we can update related list component to a dynamic form or we can only upgrade related list single component to a dynamic form. Okay, so if I click here, right, I'm not seeing that option. This is a single related list, but I'm not seeing that option to upgrade it. And if I click here, then also I'm not seeing that option to actually like, you know, upgrade it to a dynamic form. So what does that mean? If it's a custom object, it might, I mean, I'm not really sure, but if it works for you, it's well and good, but it's not working for me for sure. And I also did not find any documentation where it actually says that like, you know, it will not work. Okay. So it might work, but it works for me if I actually create one. Okay. So if I create dynamic related single, uh, related list single, it exactly works like, like, you know, the, uh, the migrated, the dynamic form, uh, related list. So I can actually, rather than migrating, I can add one. So what you can do if you want to use it and here I can like, you know, you select the related list, whatever I, I want. I can just search it and add it. Okay. So let's say if you already have a related list, just delete that and add a dynamic related list, single list. And just like, you know, if you are using approval history, just make that like, you know, search approval history here and select it. Okay. Because I am not able to migrate any, uh, migrate it to a dynamic related list from related list or related list single, but I could actually add one in case of custom object. But the migration works for me if I go to a standard object. Let me show you. So this is my uh, account record page. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, we already checked this, right? Yeah. This is my account record page. Now there are two things. Okay. You will only be able to migrate if your related list is under related tab. That's my observation. For example, if I click, because this is also nothing but a related, like, you know, related uh, tab or anything that like, you know, what you, you, you can call it. So this is, for example, this one is already dynamic related list. And if I, this one is related list, right? Because this is coming from the page layout and we don't have the upgrade option available here. Okay. This one is also like, you know, similar to that, like, you know, activities and uh, chatter. So here, if I add a related list, let me add a single related list somewhere. Let's say here. So single related list. Okay. And here I will keep any of the objects. For example, let's say I want to show. Um, assets. And see. So the moment I added a single related list, it is showing me the upgrade now option. But I did not see that option in case of the custom object. Okay. So the single related list is like, you know, it gives you the convert option, uh, in standard object, but in the custom object, I did not find that you can try and like, you know, we can check later or like, you know, you can drop your comments in the comment section. And then like, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll try or like, you know, maybe I'll search more that why it is not working for me. So this is how you can actually do it. Okay. And also the same thing will work if you have also created a related tab over here and under that related tab, if you have put a single related list, then also you will see this upgrade option available. Okay. So basically you can, uh, convert a custom object record page to a dynamic form. Okay. You can also convert a custom object highlight panel to a dynamic form. You can also convert a custom, uh, sorry, a standard object record page to a dynamic form, detailed record page to a dynamic form. You can also convert the standard object highlight panel to the dynamic form. Okay. <clears throat> and in case of related list, you will only be able to convert single related list to a dynamic related list. Or what you can do is you can directly add dynamic related list and you can choose like, you know, whatever related list you want to key for that particular dynamic related list that you would add. Okay. And also you have to check if it works for you in case of custom objects as it did not work for me, but I can add one dynamic related list, but I cannot convert a single related list to our, for example, this one was a single related list, but I'm not getting that migrate option. Okay. The upgrade now option. So this was all about how you can actually set up your uh, customer standard objects, uh, record detail page, highlight panel, and related list 
tab into dynamic forms. In the next session, we'll see a few uh, more use cases, real time use cases where you would have to apply some filters so that like, you know, you'll have a better understanding of with different use cases, you'll uh, understand better that how we can save so much time and space of not creating a lot of like, you know, extra page layouts or record pages. Rather, we can like, you know, uh, handle a lot of other requirements and scenarios just by using a single dynamic form. All right. So I'll see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye.